What's going on guys? You guys in today? I'm back with another video and today. Well, I'm just running the outlander because I just cleaned it off. I'm not gonna do any mudding yet because there's something I have planned for a good intro montage thing for this thing in my truck. So I need both of them to be clean. So I'm not really gonna mud today. And I know you guys are like ah. But you know, I'm gonna trail ride a little bit because you guys seem to enjoy the last trail riding video. You guys really actually seem to enjoy it. Um and in the last video, I you know, it's the day of the post, the last video, and you guys seem to enjoy it really well. But yeah, so I'm just out here trailing around the 450 since I clean it up and I don't really want to get it all dirty. I'm trying to warm it up right now. I need to get that tree out of here. bunch of new gravel and so the whole driveway is like a cloud driving over it and we got a big mound I'm gonna try to climb up here in a little bit gotta warm this thing up a little bit and uh this is like the fourth video of me I'm still recording on the same belt on this full that's slapping like crazy I'm assuming it's gonna go out really soon so I need to get it changed to a Super ATV here soon. There's something that's like double the strength that I need. So that way I won't ever have to worry about a belt because this is stock 450 belt and I do a lot of mud and water and it's a heavier tire setup. I bet it's, hell, it might blow up going up this big hill, actually. See, we haven't run this, these trails in a long time. I don't want to get in that. Oh. I need to come through and clip that. So, yesterday I had a friend over. Uh, we fixed this PC and everything. We just run super slow. And uh, we were out riding four wheelers. And I decided before I started riding my four, why don't I take my exhaust plug out and see what happens? So, I'm going to throw some footage in right here of it. I don't know if I'm going to use this in the video. But I just pulled my little pin from my exhaust here and a bunch of water came out. I'm going to start her up and see what she sounds like. It should be a lot louder. From what I hear, it should be a little louder. Oh, yeah. It's a lot louder. Yeah, so that's the footage of the exhaust plug taken out. I have it in right now because, you know, I plan on doing some mud in the next few days after it rains a little bit and everything. But, um, yeah. Thank, that, there's a video definitely coming on that here probably next week. Um, big gravel pile we just put in there. But we always got all this new gravel here. In the last video, so every time I come up the driveway, it would be like super, just, you know, dirt pretty much. But now we have to do it. I have to fix my neighbor's driveway too. We fix some travel from here and put it on the neighbor's driveway so completely redid their driveway too when i hit this hill up here i might go back on the 40 acres but i'm not 100 sure i kind of want to keep it around this on my property today um yeah so i cannot wait i hope i get to record for this next video because this next video is going to be i think a really good video you guys been wanting content on the on the specific thing for you know for a couple weeks now, for a while now, several since I showed you guys the vehicle, since I showed you guys my truck, you guys been watching videos on it. Y'all been wanting videos and stuff of it since you know I showed you guys the truck, and I think I got a good video for you for Wednesday. I think. I hope I did. I really hope I do. I hope I can do it. Um, which we, I am going to do it. I just hope I can record it because, it, it, yeah. And it was going to completely change the look of that truck and everything like that. So it'll make it look so much better and all of it. So, yeah, we call this next hill we, uh, we hit called the Haunted Trail. And when we were little, I guess, we thought it was like haunted and stuff. If you used to decorate it for harvest parties and stuff like that because, you know, we have a perfect property for I really wish I could hit that pond, but there's not really good opening in it, but oh well. Um, 
maybe maybe one video if, you know if i upload you know make a light goal on a video one day that's like huge um there's a couple things i want done at this point by the end of the year that i'm hoping will really get done i'll be happy for it These are stuff that are something else. They're crazy. I love them. You guys seem to love them on the YouTube with the 450 just going out and just tearing stuff up. You guys seem to enjoy that. My brother's got a 452. He don't really ride it all that off. Yeah, it's like a three foot mound. Dang. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a good picture right there. Here, let's go back a little bit. Hey, you change the jill, dig the mound up from under it. You knew I had to do it. I wanted to. I wonder if it's gonna like high center on it. Yeah, I does it, of course. Kitty, man. I'm going to see. Let's see if I can climb over it, like, on the four-wheeler. Let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna get speed and do it, actually. Climb up it. Come over a little bit to the side, so I don't run this. Same side I have. Let's see. Oh, I did bottom out. Oh, I did bottom out. But these tires, I mean, I'm very impressed. Because, I mean, oh, shoot. Okay. I forget that it's one arm brake, so when you do it, you gotta like hold on to the bike. See, that's how hard these tires stop with the four. It makes the rear end, it takes the ass end of the four come up. That hurt my arm. God, that was stupid. But no, I mean, it was, these tires are, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with these tires. I mean, I know there's probably better, but for $385 and for four tires, I'd, I'd be hard pressed to see if there, say if there's better out there. It's got so much power it just it carries them up the hill without an issue like it, it doesn't even care the polaris would probably have been just like i mean it had like 22s on it i don't even know what it had on i think it was like 22 inch tires or 24s i don't know but with these 27s would have definitely bogged that thing down yeah it's not smart to run through tall grass like this just don't run through it fast i don't know where my creek bed is at Usually, yeah, there was, yeah, right there's where the big hole, the big drop off there. I don't ever want to hit that. That'll screw up a tire out or something. Really showing y'all trails. I haven't even hit in months, and this wasn't any, this is not even really a trail. It's just kind of a, well, I like wearing a helmet. I, I don't like wearing, I mean, wearing helmets all right, but, um, here. Yeah, I can. Can't go through there. wait to get this four-wheeler out to like some riding parks and stuff like that because it'd be so much fun to get this thing out there just like sending up hill climbs mud holes trails just just beating the heck out of it or my, my dad's friend's property either one like i would love just to take these things out and go have fun with them because these things are so good i mean if i honestly the 450 just stock blows my expectations with a set of tires on it it really does it hooks super hard um it's got a lot of power it's got power i mean people are like oh 450 probably no power but i mean yeah it doesn't have the torque of the 570 but i'd rather have a 450 than a 570 right now honestly until that belt blows once that belt goes it's like no 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 <laughs> but the 450s will be there for just a i guess the, i mean they're a really great they're not, they're not, well, now you can't get them because the Can-Am just completely said, just pissed on the 450, just said, nah, and the 570, I mean, just pissed them away. I mean, those were two amazing spoilers and just like, nah, we're done with them. Like, the, you know, and then now they have the 500, 700, which I, don't, I, I can't hate on them yet because I don't know what, the, I don't know if they have problems. They're not out yet. I mean, I haven't seen a single person use them yet, so...
belt is just whistling. It's, it's bound to go. I mean, I can hear it go shh. Like, it, it sounds like I have a turbo. Not as loud as my truck, but it sounds like I have a turbo on here. I pick my feet up so if it blows up, my feet don't get caught. My feet don't. Ooh, got a little body roll there. Alright guys, well that'll be the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video of somewhat what it is because it was kind of probably just a little bit of a boring video and you know, it's just, yeah. But I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. I'm not trying, but I'm I'm pushing this belt.